Days payable outstanding is the average number of days it takes a company to pay its suppliers. Days payable outstanding is calculated by dividing 365 by the company's payables turnover where payables turnover is the total number of credit purchases from suppliers divided by the company's average accounts payable. Unfortunately, many companies don't disclose the amount of purchases they make from suppliers. In such cases, you can attempt to estimate the amount of purchases or you can simply use the company's cost of goods sold. Here's the formula for calculating days payable outstanding using cost of goods sold. Accounts payable is usually related to cost of goods sold, so it's fairly common to use cost of goods sold to calculate days payable outstanding. However, you can't always use cost of goods sold to calculate days payable outstanding because some companies, like service providers, don't have cost of goods sold. Now to obtain the average accounts payable balance, you add the beginning accounts payable to the ending accounts payable and divide by two. If you're calculating the average accounts payable across four quarters, you'd add up the accounts payable balance for each quarter and divide the sum by four. XYZ Corporation reported cost of goods sold of $125 million for the year ended December 31st, 2021. The company's accounts payable balance was $35 million as of January 1st, 2021. But the company's accounts payable balance was just $15 million as of December 31st, 2021. The average accounts payable for 2021 was thus $25 million, and the payables turnover was five. This means the company paid its accounts payable balance about five times a year. And now that we know the payables turnover, we can calculate days payable outstanding. We take 365 and divide it by our payables turnover of five to get 73. This means it takes the company about 73 days to pay its suppliers. Note that you can also calculate days payable outstanding by dividing the company's average accounts payable by its daily cost of goods sold. Returning to our previous example, XYZ Corporation reported $125 million of cost of goods sold for the year ended December 31st, 2021. Thus, its daily cost of goods sold was $342,465.75. The company reported accounts payable of $35 million as of January 1st, 2021 and $15 million as of December 31st, 2021, so its average accounts payable was $25 million. Now that we know the company's daily cost of goods sold and its average accounts payable balance, we can calculate days payable outstanding. Finally, you might have noticed that days payable outstanding is inversely related to payables turnover. A high days payable outstanding means a low payables turnover, whereas a low days payable outstanding means a high payables turnover. If you'd like to receive the PDF guides I've created on each of these topics, you can sign up for my email list using the link in the description section below. You can also access the PDF guides immediately by becoming a supporter on Patreon.